Hey everyone, a very, very quick update um, here, because there, really there's not a lot to update on. If you've been reading along on Facebook, there are six boats finished. There are two boats sitting right, I can see them in, oops, hold on a sec. I can see them in the uh, straits. Uh, it's uh, Princess M and Lugnuts, and they have just been sitting, they look like they're maybe finished, but um, they're just sitting a couple hundred yards from the finish line right now and have been for quite some time. It's very, very calm. You can see that we have boats sort of entering the, <coughs> excuse me, the run between Gray's Reef and the bridge, and we're not seeing great not great speeds out of these boats to say the least. These are the Santa, Cru excuse me, the Great Lake 70s, um, and they are uh, you know going a knot, less than a knot, most of them. Um, boats coming up Gray's Reef Passage are doing a little bit better in terms of boat speed. And I just want to show a couple of couple other things here. The fleet, there's a whole bunch of people now who have said, hey, forget it, I'm going to go over to this shore because this isn't looking so good. Um, and keeping an eye on them and whether that turns out to be a smart decision or not is going to be an interesting part of the day here. Um, the other thing that struck me, let me just zoom in a little bit here, is, uh, oops, there you go. Look at the number of boats sort of sitting here in the Manitou Passage, and they're all just kind of sitting there in a big lump. Um, you know, I know that the boat speeds are telling us that some of them, let's see what they're going here. Um, so here's 1.2 knots on Advantage, uh, 2.1 knots on Nirvana. Um, Ariso del Mar, 36.7 is going 1.5 knots. Maybe that's a little bit generous in terms of boat speed, but if nothing else, what happened was clearly these boats all sort of, you know, someone, <coughs> the wind died up here, a whole bunch of boats caught up from behind, and now they're moving en masse kind of through the um, past North Manitou right now. It's really quite a... Uh, quite quite a collection of boats there. I really, I've never quite seen that many. And I've also never, ever seen this many boats um, going outside of the Manitous. Um, you know, clearly we don't have records of the tracking going back 50 years or anything like that, but this is an astounding um, number of boats for sort of the typical race, right? Your typical race, everyone just kind of winds up and almost everybody parades right through the Manitous not the case so far. So we'll be watching today. Uh, winds, as I've mentioned before, are forecast to be really light over in this area where the main uh, clump of boats is here. Um, and, you know, we're talking 70 miles to 100 miles out for most of those boats if they manage five knots. And that's a big if. Um, so we're talking, you know, 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, I hate to say it, maybe even more time for some of them, especially if we don't get more wind up here and uh, they turn the corner at Grades Reef and end up going one knot or less. Um, that's it for a quick update. Um, weather forecast hasn't really changed very much, so I'm not going to say a lot there. But uh, thanks, and uh, I'll be on and off Facebook today. Talk to you later. Bye.